Alright guys, so I told myself that I was going to do the first bit of uh, gameplay while I was recording and just do a, uh, uh, I guess, live reaction to the beta itself. But I woke up late, I, had, I have a lot of personal stuff going on, so I was dog tired, and I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get my feet wet, because I haven't played Call of Duty in probably almost a year at this point. So, I, I jumped in, and, uh, well, here I am, rank 17. I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I, I see a lot of people complaining about the uh, no red dots on the mini-map when you fire. And I can see that being an issue. For me, personally, it's not. The perk system, again, it's not an issue. I, I don't see it as an issue anyway. I actually kind of enjoy it. It takes some getting used to. Uh, we got some new equipment, like the drill charge, um, new field upgrades, like the tactical camera, which is my personal favorite, uh, portable radar, made a comeback, you got battle rage, which I've never used, uh, suppression mine, um, Sorry about that. You also have the smoke airdrop, which is pretty self-explanatory. I obviously don't have it unlocked yet, so I haven't used it. The inflatable decoy, that, that, that's an interesting one. Um, it's not bad, but I feel like I get more utility out of my tactical camera. The DDoS, some of you are really familiar with that. You know who I'm talking to. And anti-armor rounds, which Personally, I feel like anti-armor rounds, again, I've never used it, because I haven't got it unlocked. But I feel like that's kind of uh, redundant, and I'll, I'll get to why in just a minute. Under equipment, we have a spotter scope in multiplayer. The shock stick came back. I can't remember what it was originally called. It, uh, it's not proximity based so much anymore. It does have a, a timer on it. So it will go off on its own without anybody triggering it. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same as before. You got the X12, which is a step up from the X11 in Modern Warfare 2019. The X13 Auto, which is really good in my opinion. It needs more recoil. That's neither here nor there. You got the Pila. You got the Joker. But what really got me is the gunsmithing. I really enjoy it. Um, so you have five different weapons on this platform. You have to start with this one, for instance, on this weapon, and you get it to level 11, you unlock the AR. After you get the AR to a level 11, uh, let's actually go over here. Yeah, once you get the AR to 11, you unlock the submachine gun, the LMG, and I think the battle rifle, or not battle rifle, marksman rifle. I'm not 100% sure. I'm uh, still kind of getting into it. Um, as far as new streaks, the cluster mine comes back. I don't think we've seen that since Modern Warfare 3. Uh, they changed the mortar strike just a little bit. Oh, and the bomb drone is new. It's recon drone with C4 on it. I mean, it's kind of new. Uh, SAE is kind of like a precision airstrike. The Wilson is just trash in this game. Uh, Overwatch Hilo, back to Ghost. And the rest you should be pretty familiar with. Um, as far as new vehicles, the tactical vehicle, the hatchback, everything else is fairly common and we've seen throughout wars on the ground war and previous games. The heavy chopper, however, you can actually walk around the back of it, which is nice. I personally haven't been able to experience that, but I have seen early access gameplay for it. Um, right now, the, the weapon pool is, is kind of slim, for, um, but mind you, this is the beta. So we got five ARs, two battle rifles, three SMGs, one shotgun, three LMGs, two marksman rifles, and one sniper. And it only shows you two pistols. I know there's more than two because you see a third one in the, uh, the trailer. 
which is a revolver. Um, operators, yeah. I got the most expensive edition, so I have the skins for fair price, so it can go. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into some gameplay here, and I'm I apologize in advance. My gameplay is probably gonna be ass because, like I said, I haven't really played Call of Duty in almost a year. I I guess one could call it ring rust, so to speak. My best game so far has been 15 and three. And unfortunately, I was not recording. And that's usually how. God, I hate this map. That's usually how it goes when I'm not recording. I got my execution. Did some badass shit. Had my best game. But uh, when, I'm, when I say the badass shit, I got into a gunfight with this guy. I killed him. His buddy flashed me and downed me. And because I'm one of the perks, it allows you to self-revive. It's an ultimate perk, so you have to earn it over time. But it allows you to self-revive. He had blind, and hit me with a flashbang. I self-revived, got up, killed him, and killed his buddy. First words out of my mouth, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not recording. Story of my fucking life. That being said, overall, I enjoy the beta. I enjoy the feel of it. It play, if you like Modern Warfare 2019, you'll probably like this. Obviously, like I said, there are some differences. Uh, some new additions. Um, there's also the new perk system, the mini map change, and the fact that you can gunsmith mid match. Um, but it won't take effect as here's a load up. And then, okay, can't do it on that one. Let me see if I can find one you can do it on. Well, you'll see at some point throughout this gameplay the nifty little movement addition that I like. that I like. I should be able to show you right here. No, it's not going to do it. Anyway, it makes it really beneficial to me run a sidearm instead of running overkill. I, when I first started playing, I was running overkill run a secondary shotgun to be, feel like I was closer to the classic Modern Warfare 2. Like I said, bad, or not bad, but I'm rusty, so this horrible gameplay, I apologize. There we go, this little feature. You can only do that with time. And of course I die right afterwards. And then I spawn where I die, because somebody killed me. Nice. I promise I'm not this bad, I'm just having a bad run, and honestly the beta is severely swayed because this is all Sony players and people who pre-ordered the game, and um, this is the only time I actually have to play during the beta. And yes, I just stopped and died, and I wait for it. You can slide too, it's nice. I, I fucking missed all the time. Once I found out about it and uh, actually got my hands on the game, I one of the first things I did was dolphin dive through a window to see if I could still do it. And I kind of hope that uh, the action hero challenge from I think it was Black Ops One comes now back, where you uh, get a kill shortly after diving through a window. 
I promise I never do this bad. That's solely because I'm recording at this point. I had to say something. And I do like the executions in this game. Um, I've seen a few of them from early gameplay, and then I managed to get one earlier, as I mentioned, when I wasn't recording. And what it was, was I came up, swept the dude from behind the knee with an LMG and his mag dumped into his chest. Let's go ahead and pop this As you can see, it says all clear. But you can actually get on it and look on it. And you can see any of your teams, provided I believe if you have it equipped, you can cycle through your teams, and if you, it works like a recon drone, it will actually ping people unless they have a perk that negates it. I see now it says warning because there's somebody in the line side of that camera. to two active, uh, personally, at a time. They were supposed to, uh, address and adjust the issue with target acquisition and tracking, but in my experience it's still really difficult to see when they're firing at somebody and they're firing back, the screen gets all bloody. That was something that was supposed to be adjusted here in week 2 in the beta. I don't feel like it has. And that hurt my face. a drill charge so when you throw the drill charge it will latch onto a surface and it'll detonate on both sides of the wall. You can kill people through the floor with it, through the ceiling with it. It's really nice but apparently you can also stick people with it. I've only managed to do that twice. It is kind of funny when you do that. Nobody's hiding in that little corner this time. Oh, if you hold the button to throw that, then yeah, it'll automatically pull up the cam. I hate that, I do that so often. Yeah, that's another thing that's been my experience. You can always tell PlayStation player uh, since I started because they had it a week before and they kept all their progressions. So, 9 out of 10 times, if they're using snapshots, they're a PlayStation player. I still don't have those Hostiles also in Gun grenade out! Well, not new, but hit with these fucking. How did my... Uh, are you kidding me? Yeah, there's a lot of sweaty fire hours in here. There's a lot of fucking... Issues. So, 
I think part of my issue that game was the fact that I was uh, I was talking to her and I was focused more on trying to be informative. So we're going to do one more game and uh, I'm not going to do any commentary. It's giant yeah, dog shit. Holy shit. I'm just going to kick back, relax, and uh, just play. still has sniper one. Uh -oh. Okay, never mind. That's got it four times in one. As long as that's the only aspect that has the uh the optic one, I feel like the hollow should have. Oh and this is the weapon or the variant of the uh X thirteen auto pistol that you got for hitting rank fifteen in the beta. My goal is to hit 30 before I get off the day. So that, because like I said, the same one day I really get to play the beta. And we're going back into the same map. There's only three maps in the beta. And out of all of them, it's probably my second favorite. Uh, Hotel, I think, is my favorite. he was going Team shot. That was an SMG and 
the SMG, even with a decent attack, kind of still a little bit better range, at least three.
now this road course goes off after I'm dead and he walks away. Uh, sorry about the blinky screen, that is not my recording, that is actually an issue with the beta. If you're watching this or if you experience the beta, you know, hopefully that's not an issue for you. I know uh, that can affect seizures and whatnot. There you go. 14 and 7 with a 2.0 KV. With that being said, I think we're going to end it here. Thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Push the goddamn button! Push the goddamn button! You heard what she said.